Hello there YouTube, Conspiracy Boy, back in the day toys. Rainy day car boot haul here guys, very, very little to show you, but uh, there is a box at the back, so we'll either do what's in the box in this video or a separate what's in the box. Uh, we'll start right to left, I guess. This was 50 pence, it's uh, Star Wars lightsaber, looks like Darth Vader's one. Thought it was the one where you flick it and it comes out, but you don't. You flip this switch here and... Uh, So yeah, that's uh, that's the first one. That was 50p lightsaber. Uh, we had this test tube aliens hatch, feed, grow. The better you treat them, the longer they live. Uh, still new in the packaging. The uh, aliens actually look pretty cool on the back. I don't know. I might keep that for myself. But again, that was 50p. So I quite like that. That might say for me. Uh, this little action figure here came from a trader, he had a big box of bits, I asked him how much for the bits and he looked at me like, I don't know, I was going to rob him. Uh, I picked up this as well, NES Classics, Game Boy Advance, Bomberman. Uh, I put this underneath here because I know he's a rude trader, I don't particularly like him, and I said, how much would you like for that one there, sir? Uh, he said it was a pound. So a pound for the two I'm happy with, I wouldn't pay a pound for this by itself, certainly not worth that, but with the two of them, yeah, we'll go for a pound. Uh, a little Yoshi plush, uh, he was 50p, we like that. Uh, there's another trader, I'm really starting to dislike traders. Um, they had a whole box of monsters in my pocket, clearly picked it up from someone cheap this morning, we sent five for a pound. I said I'd give them a fiver for the tub, because there was probably you know, 50 in there or something. Uh, they said no, it wasn't their stall. The person whose stall it was was off on a clay pigeon shoot, so, you know, that's really helpful. I dug out one muscle man in amazing condition, and I managed to pinch a little wild card, battle card as well. Uh, didn't even realise I picked that up. Ted on DVD, because I lent my version to someone and never came back. Uh, this little lot here was a pound. It's a friendly looking dinosaur. Probably goes to my friend's kids. Little uh, Bart Simpson key ring there. These two, which I believe in a Mighty Max. Hopefully these are little Mighty Max parts there. Some old school Pokemon, a Psyduck and a Pikachu. Some new school Pokemon that I've got no idea about. A little Micro Machine and another Hawk Nestle thing. Slightly different from the last. Uh, this little lot here cost me £2. Uh, I thought the jet was in pretty good condition until I realised it's missing a bit at the back here. So that sucks. And one of the wheels. Uh, so that was a pound and this little set here was a pound I can't figure out what that is some sort of little triceratops plastic looking dino thing another micro machine there and then these crazy little things I, um, I haven't seen these before I don't quite know what they are they obviously marvel there aren't they there's Captain America and Wolverine and Goblin what's that Gambit I don't know I don't know who that is the lizard man and uh, this little statue, which is probably for a friend of mine, which cost me two quid, so that's not too bad. So all in all, that's quite a disappointing little haul there, guys. Didn't spend very much on that. And then there's this box. So the whole box cost me £10. Uh, I really need some help from the grid and from the Tastic Tailor to help identify whether I've been ripped off or whether these are any good. They all look like Power Rangers. They must be fairly new because I don't recognise any of them. So there's one. There's another little one there. Oh, that's Ben 10. Don't know what Ben 10's worth. So Ben Ben 10 toys there. Uh, another Power Ranger there. Some sort of Zord looking thing. Don't know who on that one either, guys. Another little Power Ranger there, don't know about that. Another Power Ranger there. In fact, these are all Power Rangers, I'm just going to hold them up. In fact, that might be knockoff. That doesn't look authentic Power Rangers to me, unless they've changed drastically in recent years. Uh, I wouldn't normally buy Power Rangers, guys, uh, especially not these sort of new ones. I don't think they've got a whole lot of value. Uh, I don't think they're very collectible or... I don't know many people interested in the new ones, especially not, not like this, but uh, it was a big box and we haven't managed to find anything else today due to the really bad weather. 
There's another little one there as well. Got another Zord looking thing there too. This one's quite heavy, odd looking thing. A uh, little bike, goes for Spider Man or something. Some sort of Spidey bike. Don't know about that. I don't even know what this is. Some sort of belt clip on thing. Probably Power Rangers. Looks at the box. Uh, what's this? Power Ranger bike of some description. Power Ranger, maybe, maybe knock off again. Don't know. Oh, yeah. Another, Another little bit here. Maybe that's a Power Ranger bad guy. Maybe that's what the bad guys look like nowadays. Another Zord looking thing. I don't know whether those are what the Mega Zords have become nowadays or whether that's just how some of the new Power Rangers look. I can't tell if some of these are doubles or whether they, uh, they just look very similar from series to series. I don't know about that. That's a bit of a mystery to me there. It's like a transforming one, it's slightly different from the rest. So, yeah. As I say, I don't normally do the Power Rangers guys, only because it was a big job lot and it was very, very cheap. Yeah. If it's £10 for the whole thing, the figures probably work out at about 20 or 30p a piece. It's obviously Ben 10 here. It looks like he motion action there. Strange. Another one there too. This one's got some sort of jump pack, jet pack looking thing on there. So this guy's probably Ben 10. Uh, even though he's missing his arms, I'll show you at the end. There's a lot of bits at the bottom of this box. So there's another Ben 10 there, missing a head, but with a bit of luck, that's in the box at the bottom. Uh, another Power Ranger. Another Power Ranger. Huh, it's a little rabbit. Thinking of you, rabbit. There's a little Power Ranger thing there, too. What's this? Ben 10 Adium Force. Hmm. I don't know how you open that, what that is in there. Yep, don't know what that is. Ooh, that's Thundercats. We'll see some more pieces, hopefully they're in the bottom, some sort of Thundercat car thing. Yeah. Cool. That's some sort of pound land rubbish, isn't it? Uh, Power Ranger. I don't know what the hell that is. Another Power Ranger type dude. A little mini Ben 10. Christ knows. Ah, I found this. This is what attracted me to the stall in the first place. It's an extreme dinosaur. Went over and had a look. 250p each. I sold this too. It was uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. So I put those and this one to one side. And I started having a flip through here. I found this. This is really the reason I wanted the box. I like This is one of the ones I had as a kid. It's a bit yellowed. Uh, it's not one of the die cast ones that light up. It's the, the next level where they were plastic without the light, which is a shame, but still that'll do. No idea if that's Power Rangers or not. It's clearly a bad guy of some description if it is. Uh, some sort of TARDIS. Don't know what that does. Who knows? Another little Power Ranger, Ben 10 Torch, doesn't seem to work, another Power Ranger, uh, another Power Ranger there, another little Power Ranger, some sort of Ben 10 weapon or something, I don't know what that is. 
Another cheapy Poundland action figure. That's rubbish, really. Ben 10 Bouncy Ball. Brilliant. Uh, knockoff Power Ranger. Regular Power Ranger. I don't know. Another Power Ranger here, too. And then this is what we got left at the bottom of the box, guys. And this is everything we've just taken out. So that's quite a lot of Power Rangers. Uh, there's this whole bag here, which just looks like accessories and weapons, parts, arm from something. Yeah, so all just little bits and bobs in there. Little bits in the bottom here too. Quite a big bits or something. Arms, which look like the Ben 10 ones we've been talking about. Another Power Ranger there. Oh, that, that could be part of a Zord. This has got a few metal pieces in it. This is definitely metal limbs here. A little skull on the front there. Lion looking thing. And there's a little tiger looking thing there too. Again, definitely a bit of metal on that. Very heavy. Maybe that's another little Zord. We'll see if we can put that together. Uh, before I end, we'll just see if there's any... Oh, it's Ben 10. Oh, there's probably Ben 10 as well. Monkey looking thing. There's another Ben 10. Maybe that's a blind. One of the rare green ones. Pharrell the data. We know you like the, the Ben 10 blind bags, so... It off to you at some point. There's a load of these little clear ones here. This looks like a butterfly man with wings. It's uh, a little clear Ben 10, I guess. That's uh, the one that I got a key ring of, new box the other day. It was something like wood file. So yeah, there's a lot of going through and building, putting arms on and seeing if we can make zords. But overall, that's my... Uh, my toy haul this week guys uh, not a lot uh, obviously masses of Power Rangers so if uh, Chris the Gris Ward no Chris the Grid Ward is watching I uh, could do with a hand identifying all of this uh, same to Nerdtastic Taylor I know you two are both on your Power Rangers uh, so yeah any help with that would be greatly appreciated guys and uh, hopefully next week we'll get some better weather and some better hauls so yeah Back in the day toys, signing off.